Achievement Grabber, we are back again with another episode of Achievement Grabber. This will be the second episode. We're playing Trivial Pursuit Live. These ones are going to be tough, uh, but we're going to give it our best shot, and uh, we're going to pause and probably deliberate through them and maybe Google if we're really uh, stuck. Really stuck. But uh, the achievements are Pop Goes Perfection, uh, which is answer every question in uh, every round correctly in a five-round game show. And Greedy Grabber, which, I mean, kind of just goes with the territory because it's a completed grab bag question, selecting all answers in the grid. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's get underway. Ready it up. So I think uh, we got Reed here yeah. with, with me, Jason. And uh, I think what we're going to have to do for the grab bag one is you're going to have to get it wrong Yeah. Uh, on the first one. So we have to know which one's the wrong answer for sure. Yeah. Uh, we got to begin the game. And then I'm going to have to select them all right so we can get the achievement. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully, we can pull it off. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. Welcome back. Well, I guess if we get one wrong, we don't have to play the whole game. Cause we can yeah, just no, we'll just quit out and, uh, and cut to the new one. But uh, hopefully, we don't go all the way to the end and then fucking lose it on the last <laughs> question. That would be fuck. That, that would suck. That would be it would make a great video, though. It, it would. Yeah, no, if we go all the way to the end and fail, it's going to be under Achievement Grabber Fails. I guess we could do that. Yeah. We could have, like, attempts... And then, like, it'll either go under Achievement Grabber or Achievement Grabber Fails. Yeah. That's something we could do. I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. First round, though. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be Quick Starter. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Quick Starter. Jeez, I wonder. Why would you even <coughs> I don't know, man. All right. So. <laughs> Arts and Literature. What is the only palindromic, palindromic oh, I think numerical? 2002. 2002. Because I think it's if it can be written upside down. Oh, it's me. Right? Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. I'm pretty sure 2002. All it right. Can be written upside down. I'll uh, I'll go with you. Oh, wait, maybe it's backwards. Yeah. It's backwards, there you go. All right. Sweet. We still got it right either way. So. Yeah. Oh no no, because if it was upside down, yeah, 2020 well, would be, still work too. Be, yeah yeah. Five, but I'm saying it would have been 5,005. It would have been something, but oh, I don't okay. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I see. It's got to be backwards. Customs and cultures, landmarks and places, geography. Which country has the tallest oh, statue of Brazil. Jesus Christ? Brazil. All right. I'm going mostly off a of read here because I'm. Oh what? fuck, oh, Poland! Fuck. We already lost. I thought the, the Christ the Redeemer. Let's start over. All right, here we go. First question: Science and nature. After that, total fail there. What body organ did Aristotle believe was there merely Ooh. to cool the blood? I'm gonna say brain. The brain? It could be... I don't think it'd be ears. Or lungs. I think it's either brain or liver. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. I was scared there. We got the brain. I think we might need to utilize Google a little more, because I'm getting <laughs> worried on these. What's the next one? It's like it paid off, yeah. It definitely did. History. <coughs> In which year was the internet coined? The word internet coined. The word internet. 95? Ooh. No, I think it'd be earlier than earlier that. Earlier than that? I'd say uh, one of the 88? Years. You know what? I'm going to Google. You're going to Google? I'm going to go to Google here. I'm going to take my phone out and I'm going to look up what year was the internet, or the word internet coined. What year was the word internet coined? Not count. Let's see. What does it come up with? We're looking at 1982. Was that one of the options? Yes, it was. It is B. What? what? Son of a bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. I restart. fucking just saw a year. Alright, yeah, restart. Well, so far we've learned that we can't even use Google to fucking win this shit, so uh, let's uh, use Bing. Let's try the third time. Who became Brit Britain's longest continuously serving prime minister? Of the 20th century. Uh, I think Winston Churchill was broken up, so I don't think it'd be him. Fuck. It could be Margaret Thatcher. I don't know the other two. Should we risk it? Fuck it, I went for it. Yes! Okay, we got one. Fucking hell. This makes this game so much more intense when you're just like, I cannot get a question wrong. Yeah. Yeah, taking some time paid off again. 
didn't pay off for the second question last time, so hopefully it will this time. Sports and leisure. We better get this one right. The modern game of golf originated in which country? All right, I'm gonna trust you on that one. I the probably... one that's for what it's famous for, at least. There we go. Yeah. Mentions of golf are found in documents from the 15th century. I guess you can learn here on yeah. the Blue Ribbon Gaming. Yeah, it's educational now. Boreal Gosling. Well, here's an <laughs> Way to go, Boreal Gosling. Oh, thank you. you were very quick on that one. Arts oh, and literature. Arts Fuck. And literature. What does the bird say in Ed Nevermore? Nevermore? Yeah. Nevermore. Way to be on that one. Oh, thank you. All right, we made it farther than we have so far, and that's not that great because that's three <laughs> questions. So I say we give ourselves one more try if we fail at this one, if we yeah. don't get too far into it. Okay. Um, but hopefully we won't have to give ourselves one more try. All right, which primate show here sleeps sitting? What are the options? About, it's not a baboon. It's not a gorilla. I think it's an orangutan. I think it's a given. Oh, fuck. You know what? We're going to Google. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely a gibbon. Definitely a gibbon. Hopefully. <laughs> yep, we were right. You were right. I was wrong. <laughs> Google was right. But we both have a wedge now, so that's good news. One last question. Final question of round one. We, we've almost made it out of round one alive. I get to select the category. Oh, I'm saying entertainment because it'll be easier to look up. Or geography? Oh, fuck. I Entertainment. Think, I thought I was going to say, I think geography might be easier to look up. But. Yeah, probably, but whatever. Maybe I'll just know this. Which episode of the TV series Doctor Who? Oh, oh my fuck! God. Reunited the present. Oh, fuck! No! Oh, wait, did I guess? I don't know if I just guessed. Oh, fuck. Uh, you know what? I'm going to look this up. I have no fucking clue. Alright, we have the answer. It is apparently the day of the Doctor. Uh, we got to be quick here, though. Uh, where is it? Why? Okay. The oh, day, the day of the doctor. Press. Yeah. There we go. That one would have been a total. I, I have no idea what I would have done there. No. It would have been a, it would have been a guess for sure. So, glad we. Uh, there we go. Five answers correct. Have a perfect quick start around. Way to go. Proud of you. Thank you. Very proud of you. All right, round two. Get your phones ready because we're gonna need them. And we have a tie for first place. Oh shit. Holy fuck! That. Yeah, what a surprise. Wedgeville. Wedgeville. Wedgeville sounds like a lovely town. Let's it, see what the next round I think is. I'd like to go visit it, Second you know? Round. What are we getting? Close, call. Close calls. Which one is this one? I don't this remember. I, I definitely remember seeing that dive Oh, right, right. Oh, right. right. The best answer. So, we ought probably have to choose number one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so I, I need the best answer. Here's a fresh start. Alright, uh... I'd, I'd go with history, but... I went entertainment. I'm gonna Fuck, the last time I went entertainment, it took like a 10 minute Google search. As of 2013, which of these artists slash bands oh, have released the most know. studio albums? Oh, fuck, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, shit. But we need to know what the answers are. I know, Get go take a picture of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting really intricate here. So after a not-so-quick Google search, we have discovered that yes is the correct answer, with uh, Black Sabbath just behind them. Let's see how those answers stack up. And, oh, it said 21 on... Oh, Maybe probably was, till they probably released a new one after 2013. They should release, like, five. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Alright, next question. Which of these sitcoms ran for the most seasons? Simpsons. God damn it. Okay. It's not on there. Take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. I'm pausing it. Alright, uh, after a Google search, uh, 30 Rock is the uh, most. Least. Least. Uh, cheers. Or Cheers, sorry, oh. fuck, what am I, I, that's what I meant, I don't know why I said 30 Rock, <laughs> fuck. I meant Cheers. Uh, yeah, so Google is uh, definitely saving our asses here. Oh, I'll probably have to get ready for a picture. Yeah, <laughs> probably. God damn it. This? Which of these actors won an Oscar oh at the youngest God. age? Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? I, I'd guess Cuba Gooding Jr., but that's just my guess. So, Jennifer Lawrence is the answer. Uh, I'm going first, so I think Audrey Hepburn was second. What did she win for? I don't remember. Here's the breakdown. I just realized we didn't check all the categories. Fuck me! <laughs> I thought we checked them all. No, we didn't. 
Okay. Oh, well, slut. But does that count, though? Because that's still a right answer. It's just not the first answer. Do you want to go all the way to the end and find out? I guess so. We could label it under fail. But all of these are right answers. So does that... Yeah, let's just go. Let's just restart. Let's, no, let's just keep going. I think, keep, I think we should keep going because we can still get the grab bag achievement. Yeah, We can I guess. still get the grab bag achievement and it can still be successful. I guess. So let's keep going. Grab bag blitz. Okay, so you got to throw this. And pick an answer. Each yeah. And I have to get everyone right. Fuck. We're going to need pictures. We're going to need a long pause. The category for this round is your pick. Go science. science. Go science. science. Although entertainment for grab bag oh. was actually pretty good. Yeah, I guess, but it's too late. But now. yeah, it's fine. All right, what is the question? Which of the following animals are mammals? Okay. This could not be that bad. Okay, I'm first, right? Uh, no, it's all at the same oh, time. Shit. shit. Okay, so take a picture. Get ready to take a picture, and let's go over it. So throw yours. Go lemur or kangaroo. Kangaroo? Kangaroo. Where the fuck is it? Right, right, right. Oh, there it is. Kangaroo. Okay, now take a picture. Uh, go whale next. Whale? Okay. What are you going? All right. Dolphin? Uh, yeah, dolphin. Is a penguin a mammal? Uh, no, a penguin's no. a bird. What about a shark? No, go armadillo. Armadillo is a mammal? Alright. What about a lemur? Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros is a mammal? Oh, yeah. there's an achievement. Wedge warrior. Okay, I got an achievement, so this Rhinoceros. isn't a fail anymore. Rhinoceros, okay. Lemur. Lemur. Uh, now I'm... Manatee? I'm... Bat, I'm pretty sure. Okay, right, so I'm going so... bat. And I'm pretty sure it'd be manatee, but let's just... It might be... Through. Oh, there we go. What's wrong? That's 15 correct answers in a row. That's have an overall done. accuracy of 60. At least so, 60. Oh, at least 60. Okay, so uh, do I have to get them all right an entire round? Maybe. I think I do. Uh, which of these creatures are not insects? Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. It, like, look, we gotta pause. Yeah. We gotta take a picture. Yeah, okay, get ready. Media so, I'm hitting, uh, I'm hitting, uh, centipede. Well, centipede, which is just to the left of my cursor, but I got three seconds to do it. So, here we go. Boom. Cisadia, okay. Alright. Millipede and wasp. I'm going millipede. And, uh, our, my partner here is going wasp. So, then okay. I can go, uh, tarantula. Uh, but what do I get? Uh, I'm guessing... A beetle? Is a beetle an insect? Tarantula and beetle, so I'm going tarantula. Okay. I think I'll go Black Widow next. Yeah, but where do I go? What do you go? Um, prob uh, look up, is a bee or an ant. Alright, I'll look up bee. I've got Black Widow, he's got bee. Uh, okay. dragonfly? Uh, I'm guessing scorpion, but... Scorpion? Alright, look it up. I've got scorpion, he's got ant. I'm think I'm thinking butterfly maybe or dragonfly. I'm going brown recluse. He's going earwig. There we go. So we got four left. Dragon. I'm thinking dragonfly as not an insect. I'm thinking so. Yeah. I better look it up. Yeah. Dust mite, dragonfly. Yeah. Here we go. Oh shit! I hit B. <laughs> dragonfly, and then I think it gives the last two here. Yep. There we go. Lone Star Tick oh, was the last one. Butterfly I think was. We got not one more to go. Yeah. Oh no! Two Which more. These. Oh shit! Inventions. Did Thomas Edison hold patents for? Phonograph, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well let's uh, look up Thomas Edison patents. Well, we uh, fucked up the Thomas Edison question. Uh, Google failed us. So uh, we are going to have to end it here, and that is part one. Uh, we'll come back later on and try and get this one again, and hopefully we can uh, we can pull it off this time. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming out and watching. Uh, a little deflated after that, that yeah. defeat, but... Um, We'll come back and get it. We'll get her. We'll yeah. get her. We'll do it. At some point. Somehow. Some way. Somewhere over the rainbow. We'll fucking do it. Um, poop in my face and call me a scurvy dog. Okay. Okay. Peace.